Hey sis, hey, welcome back to my channel, you guys. A lot of y'all know me as Queen. My name is Becca Amy. For all my returning subscribers, welcome. If you aren't subscribed, go, what are you waiting for? It's let over here, join the family. But yeah, so um, today we're gonna be getting into a vlog, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Be Monday, you guys. I'm feeling very under the weather. Um, I attempted to do some of my makeup this morning, and then I just realized that I was feeling like complete shit as I kept trying to get ready more and more. So, change of plans. It's gonna be like a chill day in bed. I'll work from bed with emails um, and then sponsorships, things like that. It won't be like more of a hands-on thing today. I did batch some content photos. Um, I had told you guys last week, so for my Instagram, I'm good for now. Um, I'm like trying to catch my breath, but anyways, for my Instagram, I'm good for now. However, um, I do need to do like a TikTok, so I might just do like one of me showing like realization of a day in bed when you're not feeling well or some shit um so yeah the good thing is i deep cleaned my room last night even though i felt like crap all day yesterday i didn't do anything yesterday but i did do a load of laundry and then i made sure i came upstairs and deep cleaned the shit out of my room and then i got laundry put away so i was very content with that so it's still a better start to the week even though i wasn't able to do my deep clean downstairs it's okay it'll get done so yeah you guys i'm not feeling well um I don't know, I have like this cough, so I'm not sure like what it is exactly, but um, I'm just not feeling the best. So yeah, you guys, that is my, um, that's my Monday. So yeah, I'm about to get that um, iPad planner I told you guys about. My hair looks freaking crazy because it's curly right now. And I didn't do it after I showered last night. I just like put it um, up. So that's why it looks nuts. Um, but yeah, you guys, so that's what's going on with me today. Not much um, to film or anything because I'm literally about to just be chilling in bed. So yeah, I got my iPad and I'm about to just like lay back in bed. I'm gonna do the iPad planner, iPad plan. It's um, Tuesday, I feel like complete shit. I do not feel good at all. Um, I literally hopped in the shower, washed my face, so I'm about to just, it's been like an hour, which isn't good, generally I just do it right when I get out or before, but um, i trying to finish my face because I literally feel like shit, so the least I can do is my skincare real quick. <sighs> I do not feel good. I wanted to do a try on haul, but that's definitely probably not going to happen today now. Um, I'm just going to be real general with it. I don't think I'm going to put on serum or anything. So I just put on my toner and I'm just going to go on my moisturizer. I look so pale. Because <laughs> I'm literally, I feel like shit. You guys should have heard me when I woke up. It was scary. <laughs> I sounded like a dying horse. Oh my god. And as you guys can tell, my hair is curly. You know, you know, I'm sick when my hair is curly, looking like shit like this, and I do not care because I just don't have the energy. And then I'm just gonna finish it off with my gold recipe spray. You guys know this is my favorite by now. And now I have a clear face, even though I feel like crap, I have a clear face. <clears throat> so, yeah, you guys, hopefully I feel better later today or even tomorrow. Cross my fingers. I've been doing a lot of online shopping because I've been in bed because I'm literally feeling like crap. I just have, like, no energy in my body and all that. Um, I think I just, like, have a cold, though. Like, it's not anything, but it's just literally, like, like I'm, I don't feel like so, yeah, you guys, like I said, I look like I'm sick, like I'm pale, all that. So, yeah, that's what's going on with me. I'm about to go make some hot tea. I literally know I've been, um, like, using a lot of tea because, let me tell you guys, I'm almost out of honey, and I bought the honey literally on Sunday. No, Thursday or Friday? Regardless, it's only been like four days, maybe five, and I'm literally almost at a whole thing of honey. And I don't even put that much honey in my tea. It's just a matter of 
yeah and there's no point in making my bed as usual because i'm literally about to just lay back down in it unfortunately <sighs> because i just don't feel good but i hope everyone's having a good day um wherever you're at and stuff like that i'll try to check in with you guys either later today or tomorrow it's kind of hard to vlog when i don't feel good because i mean there's really nothing for me to show y'all or give y'all um uh, maybe i'll sit down in bed and then have um you guys look over the new planner i download the digital planner from etsy but other than that i really don't have much to show you guys right now because i just don't feel well um but i'm still trying to be consistent <laughs> so yeah i will see you guys later Alright you guys, so it's Tuesday night, I still feel like crap, but I went ahead and ran me a bubble bath, I'm going to do like a little self care night, try to make myself feel even more better, because um, I still feel like crap, so yeah. Alright you guys, so it's Monday, it's been a long time no see, um, I've been really freaking sick, I'm still sick, but it's not anything compared to how I've been like on my deathbed um so I'm so happy to get back into it but really today what I need to do is like clean up my downstairs my downstairs is a shit show because I've literally been sick so yeah laundry so backed up because once I got sick then um the hubby got sick so yeah and when he gets sick he likes to take like 50 showers so went through a lot of laundry so there's like a lot of laundry to be done and then of course when I was sick I wasn't cleaning or doing laundry because I mean the only thing I could clean was like my room that I had the tolerance to clean um and yeah that was it so yeah but I'm gonna start off with cleaning my brushes they're so freaking filthy it's disgusting so I need to clean those clean that probably won't feel me cleaning up um I don't know we'll see but yeah so I'm excited to be back I have so much content to show you guys and yeah, I'm kind of whispering in my voice because um, my voice is still going in and out from being sick because I have this really bad cough and it will not go away. Like, it's so bad. So I'm just trying to take it slow. So I put my makeup brushes in the sink and I let them soak for a while. As you guys can see, the water's looking pretty dirty because my brushes were so dirty. So now I'm just going to take them out like this, go like this. I'm going to have to rewash them again one by one. My brushes were super dirty for sure. Doesn't help that I literally used them earlier, so. Well, not all of them, but you know, some of them. Look how disgusting that is. If you don't clean your brushes, you should start, because trust me, I'm not the best at keeping up with it. But it can be so disgusting. Right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and dry it out on this cloth. And then they're gonna sit there to air dry. And I'm just gonna continue. I'm gonna start to do it one by one.
You see the water's not looking as dark as it was. That means it's getting cleaner. Right, so my brush is pretty much all clean now. This is like a clearly stained, so that's not gonna come out, but it's way cleaner. See? So now when I wanna squeeze water into the bowl, this is the test. The water's clear, that means it's clean. You always want to like test your brushes before you're done with it because you'll never know. See the inside? So we're good. And the next one. This one's dirty. This is like my main go-to bronzer brush when I want to put on bronzer, so yeah. This one's gonna be dirty. Not anything compared to like the foundation brushes though. See how clean that is so quickly? Like this one's not as bad. Cause it's just powder. And it's clean. So that one was easy. The good thing I can say about these brushes is that they, um, they're not shedding, so that means they're holding up very well. I've had these brushes for like two years, maybe longer. These are like my go-to brushes, but this Tarte foundation brush is GOAT. Like if you don't have this, what are you doing? I love this. My older sister put me onto this years ago when I used to play in her makeup and I just haven't looked back since. I've tried so many other brushes, but I don't really like any other ones, so I really like that one. Let me know down below what your favorite brushes are. <laughs> it looks so freaking weird now. It looks like the end of like a pompous. Like, if you know, you know. Okay. 
All right, and then this one. All right, you guys, so as you can see, my brushes are clean. I was just doing like the basics or whatever, but I think it came out pretty good, if you ask me, way better than when I started. Now, now I'm done with that. Um, I do have one more. Oh, I have my eyebrow brush. I literally cannot find my other eyebrow brush or my other one, and it's really, really pissing me off because I don't know what to do with it. So, yeah, I just have to do that one, and then I'm done. Like I said, I want to clean my floors and stuff. It's almost, well, no, oh, shit. I was going to say it's almost 5 o'clock. It's 5.20. I look sick. That's my problem. See, I look sick. I try to put on some concealer because, like, without concealer, you guys, I look like I'm dying. I'm not kidding you. That's how sick I look. Um, it's 5.20. I actually took out some salmon, and I want to um, put it in that fryer and try to make this dish. You know, the one with the, um, like seaweed snacks and jasmine rice and stuff I kind of wanted to make that but now I'm not sure because it's kind of late and that wasn't going to be my dinner it's going to be my lunch I'm just losing track of time I don't know now but I do want to make that maybe I'll make it tomorrow I'm not sure I don't really have an appetite right now I can say that too I also have had like a weird appetite the whole week and a half like I don't know like sometimes I'm hungry sometimes I'm just not hungry and yeah so, yeah, I wash my brushes, and then, yeah. Oh, I gotta show you guys this top I have on. It's so cute. So, it says 98 Brooklyn. I just love this. I think it's so cute. Brooklyn Bridge. And then what gets me is, like, the back. Let me see if you guys can see it. So cute. So, it's, like, oversized. I love that for in the house. Um, and then even going out of the house, sis, as long as you pair it right, you can't, you can't just be going out there looking like anything. So, yeah. Alright, so I got this package from Amazon. So, it's literally like a, um, I don't want to call it a glass, but it's like a bottle or whatever you would want to call it. A milk bottle. TikTok made me do it. So, yeah. Then seeing them all on TikTok. So, first up, it's kind of come with. Oh, it came with some stickers. That's cute. When others quit, keep going. Excuses never. And then there's more. You see more like some stickers that I would like give to the mans or whatever. But. And then it came with a metal straw and then a uh, straw brush cleaner. So, love that. Okay. So, this is that. I'm so excited about this. It's like literally, I've had it in the cover because I got it, like I said, um, last week and I've just been waiting to open it with you guys. This is so cute. So, I just took the top off. So, they call it like a milk bottle or something. Now I am sure I did see online that you could take the top off to put ice in, but I don't know how, and I don't want to break it. Shit. I don't know. It doesn't seem like you can do that. But like, how would I? You wouldn't fit ice in here. Like I'd be seeing people put some big ass ice cubes in here. I don't want to break it. Oh, wow. I'm so stupid. Okay. So, if anyone gets this and you guys are, like, lost like me. So, instead of trying to pull it like this. Um, no. You just twist it. <laughs> it's not that hard. Oh, my God. So, anyways. So, yeah. You can put, like, any kind of size ice cube in there. Um, I'm going to probably do the circle cubes that I got. So, yeah. Or I'll just do, like, regular size ice cubes. But I think this is so cute. I can't wait to, like do lemon water in this and um, iced coffees for sure Ooh. hold on yeah make sure it's on a good track okay I feel like I'm gonna break it um it's plastic though it's not like glass but if you drop this it's going 
if you drop this i can see it breaking for sure like cracking and then breaking um so yeah just keep that in mind but this will be so aesthetic you already know so yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys um you've seen it probably all over tiktok it's on amazon i'll go ahead and link it down below of course it'll be in the description box but yeah like i said it comes with the straw and everything so that's cute i have a lot of unboxing i have misguided items to show you guys and then i have some fashion nova items um just like a few little pieces or whatever but the shoes i got sis are fire you guys aren't even ready like i had to re-up i had to get some more boots some cute boots um because yeah i live in florida but it's freaking cold right now and um i'm gonna take advantage of the season and pull it back because i love the cold time for clothing so yeah i just wanted some more boots and stuff like that i just rinsed it out whatever so now i'm gonna go ahead and put my cubes in there you guys know i love my circle cubes You guys so it's filled up now with water all right let's test it for a leakage oh it's perfect see is this not so freaking cute i love this I think this is super cute. And it's all like you all. Yeah, so this is perfect. Happy Tuesday, sis. Um, I've been cleaning up and stuff like that. So, yeah. I'm about to make some coffee. Oh, my God. I see cops next door. Hold on. I want to go be nosy. Let's go upstairs. You guys probably can't see that. Why are they at my neighbor's house? I'm about to go be nosy. a whole bunch of cops outside <laughs> yeah I'm trying to see what the best angle is probably in here you got the people on the camera yeah you I'm getting on uh, damn I can't see shit right here Hold on, I'm about to look in our bathroom window oh shit it's blocked off oh, I can't be in the neighborhood if I'm on yeah they blocked off our road you better go figure it out Oh, I think that's some people across the street, and that's our neighbors across the street. Where? The fat white dude. Oh, yeah. That was rude. <laughs> that ain't racist. That's no, he said rude. They're probably going to ask everybody's cameras. I mean, our cameras didn't get shot, I don't think. So I'm about to make some nice coffee. Um, as I was trying to say earlier, I seen this girl do this video. She literally said in her video that she batched 18 reels in one day. Like, made 18 reels in one day. I don't see me doing that child i was like wow let me get my ass up like i was like cleaning up my floors and stuff but like i just feel so but i am like still sick so yeah i mean i'm definitely not like lazy or nothing but i don't feel like i would do 18 rounds one day just because i don't know i feel like it's too curated not curated how do i put this i don't know my stuff's like lifestyle like day to day so like how am I going to do 18, like, there's certain things, like, I could batch, I don't know, me making my bed, since I ain't finna do that 18 times, I do that daily, like, and that's the thing that keeps me doing it daily, is, like, recording it, you know, I hold myself accountable, so I wouldn't batch that, I wouldn't batch making coffees, because I do that every day or every other, it just depends, um, so I don't know, y'all, I don't, I don't know, um, fashion reels I can batch, maybe, for sure, but, I don't like to have the same content with the same hairstyle all too much. I don't know, but she was definitely inspirational when I seen that. So yeah, but I did go look at her page. Her page is definitely different content than, of course, mine. Um, so maybe if I was doing what she was doing on her um, page, then I would be able to batch that many videos. But anyways, it was just inspiring. I keep looking out the back of my um, side kitchen window. Let's see what's going on going on so bad bitch my fucking straight is blocked off 
I'm scared. I just want to know what happened. I was scared because it's like they, they blocked off the street. Not the street to get out the neighborhood. The street to getting out of my section of the neighborhood. So it's like this was in this section. So what did somebody do? Like did somebody die? I didn't hear no ambulance. Then I was like would somebody get robbed? I mean I don't know. It's daytime. I didn't hear no shit. I kind of need to know because I need to be more alert then. But like, it just, that means everybody's car is in the driveway. Like I said, this is a very quiet neighborhood. Like, it's literally pretty much like older people on my street. Like, yeah, it's all older people. Like, there's a family, older people family. Not too old, but like, you know, 50s, 40s. Um, yeah, no, we're the youngest people on the street. And like, this is the biggest house on this street too. So it's like, why would you go for that house? It just doesn't seem... To make sense. All right, hold on. Some of these trucks coming in. That's the next door neighbors, though. I want to know what's going on. They let a car through. All right, let me get the ice to do this. Here she come walking. Oh wait, she's talking to the next door neighbor guy. I might have to take my ass outside. I ain't gonna hold you. I really don't want to go out there. It's cold too, so I'm gonna have to go get me a jacket. I really want to know what happened. It's not like no car accident either or nothing. There she go back around. Alright, so I filled up the bottle with the circle cubes. Um, so yeah, sorry for the lighting guys. This light's really coming in right now. Shake this up. And pour it. For the rest of the cream, I don't have much. Ooh, that might have been too much. Shit. I don't know. Alright, then I'm just gonna shake it. Done. It looks so good. Let's taste it. I feel like it's gonna be too sweet. Ooh. All right. So it tastes perfect. Super good. I'm gonna actually put a straw in this. Hold on. All right, you guys. So I just suck a straw in it. So much better um, than having to like just pick it up and do that. I only like to like sip it like that when it has like just water in it. So yeah, I'm about to go put on a coat. I'll come back on here after put up. I'll do all that. I'll let you guys know what I found out. If I find out anything, I don't know. We'll see. I'm back. I did go outside. It's crazy. Like oh my god. I don't want to say too much because I honestly I don't know too much, but I also don't want to like get trouble for saying something. Uh, long story short, all I'm gonna say is, uh, there's literally, like, mad cop cars, there's a crime scene unit, and there's a black SUV, like, in the fucking shows, 
<laughs> like detective shit. Like I'm laughing because it's like I'm scared. Like, and all the people over there are like, whoa, are we safe? Are we safe? Like, I literally live in the quietest neighborhood. I don't understand. I just don't understand at all. Like, I don't know what's going on. Um, all I can say is like, I guess the, a lady was found or something. But it, it it's not confirmed. Like, I think she just went to a hospital. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Something about some car coming in her. I don't know what's going on. This is just... I'm just scared because it's like... And then, you know, I have that next door neighbor who'll be like... Um... Oh, you didn't see nothing? I know you'd be home. Sh why are you talking so much? Like, clearly this is a serious situation. Don't know who did what and you want to announce that I'm home. Because I work from home. That's not smart at all because of the circumstances of the situation. Like, you should not be announcing who stays home. Like, people just get on my nerves. Oh, my God. There's so many cops in front of my house. I'm, this is just giving me anxiety. I call my mom so fast, and I'm like, you would not believe what's going on. She's like, what? Your neighborhood's so quiet. I'm like, exactly. Doesn't make sense. I've literally lived here for, like, two years, and this is never... You don't even see cops on the street. I was gonna do a ton of content today, reels and stuff, but I'm not about to be changing outfits a thousand times for reels when I know the detectives or cops can knock on my door anytime because they're probably gonna go house to house and ask everybody um, for like a statement to see if they heard anything. And also probably for everyone's camera footage because like we all have cameras and everybody in the neighborhood's talking about how they're gonna get more and more cameras. I'm like, y'all talking about more cameras? Um. From what y'all telling me with this story, I'm moving the fuck out of here, like, ASAP. Like, what are y'all talking about? I'm gonna call my housing company and be like, you need to let me out of my lease, do da 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 yada 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 what, Like, what's going on? I don't feel safe on the street now, like, because I don't, I don't understand, like, what happened. So, that's my day. That's my day. And then, you know, I don't like those older people who be like, they just think younger people sleep all day, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I have a whole routine. Um, but it was just funny because one of my next door neighbors, like, her main thing was out of her mouth was, you didn't see nothing, you'd be home all day, right? So that irritated me because it's like, if you guys knew the story, you'd be like, why would she even say that out loud? Like, that's just like, like, don't let, don't let these people know that I'd be home. Don't, don't let them know. They don't know. You know what I'm saying? But it's not even that. It's the fact that she was like, oh, you were sleeping? Were you sleeping? Because I know how your generation is. You like to sleep in. What? She was like, because it was like 11 something or 1 something when this had to gone down. You didn't hear nothing. I'm like, I was vacuuming. And then that just sounds sketch because it's like, when you say you're vacuuming, it's like, that just sounds sketchy. Like, oh, you were vacuuming? But literally, my vacuum was in the middle of my floor. I literally didn't even finish vacuuming. Like, I didn't hear anything. And then when they came in on the street, it's like, how would I have heard anything? They didn't come in with sirens at all. Like, whatsoever. There's been no sirens. I didn't hear nothing. They came in here quiet as fuck on the street. So, that should tell you something, too. I don't know, y'all. This is just crazy. And now I'm, like, freaking out about being in the house by myself. But then again, it's like I don't want to leave my house unattended at the same time. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, the good thing is, um, the hubby is off tomorrow, life's so funny, like, life is literally a whole movie, like, it's just your movie, you know what I'm saying, well, and that's on being productive today, I don't know, but, alright, I'm about to show you all these cute boots I got on, um, I kind of want to show you, I'll show you them on, but I'm going to take them off and show you guys too. Because I was going to show you all a little something today. Take these boots off because I don't plan to go back outside. And they're brand new. I was mad I wore these outside. I was like. Oh. But like. So many people were outside. I'm like. I got to come looking okay. So yeah. <coughs> um, let me show you guys the boots. Like. In hand. So these are the boots. Aren't they so fucking cute? I absolutely love these. These are from 
Oh, I got some on them. See, that's why I didn't want to go outside. But anyways, I got these from Misguided, you guys. Love, love, love these. I'm happy I sized up for sure. But yeah, so these are the boots. Very comfortable. I only wore them for like 20 minutes. No, I've had them on for about 45 minutes. So they've been comfortable so far. No complaints. They're easy to take off, all that. So they're super cute. Um, and then I got this green coat to go with it. So let me show you. So this is the coat. It's like super cute, super puffy. The material is like really like soft, but not too soft. I don't know, it's perfect. And there's no hood, which I prefer for this kind of jacket. So yeah, it's super cute on. But like, you guys see the color combo I'm going for? Like the green with the, with the puffer. Super cute, right? So yeah, that's what I wore outside real quick because you never know. So anyways, you guys, I'm out to um, I'm out to finish vacuuming and just kind of like clean up my couch or whatever. Cause like I said, I already know they're not gonna do it. They have to knock on everybody's door to get a statement. So <coughs> yeah, I've been sick though, so I really don't want nobody come to my house. Cause like when I went over there, I literally stayed like really far away from everybody, and everybody had on masks, so that was good. But I like stayed far away, cause I was like, oh, I'm not trying to get nobody sick. And they didn't know I was sick, so yeah. But still, wouldn't want anybody else to get sick. But alright, you guys. So I'm gonna go do that. I'll keep you guys updated and let you guys know what I find out in the future or whatever. So update, um, the police have cleared out of whatever was on my street. I don't know what happened. Um, I'm going to pray for that person. And yeah, I don't know. I really don't know what happened. Um, so until somebody tells me more, I'm not going to say anything because yeah. Um, uh, no police came to my door for a statement, which I thought was interesting. So yeah, but all I can say is there was definitely like crime scene unit like a black SUV truck, all that. Like, so it was some serious shit. It still is some serious shit, but like they cleared it. Like that's not even on the street no more. Like there's no tape, nothing. So I don't, I don't know if they're doing that for a reason. Um, but they didn't go door to door, but then again, their whole, our whole neighborhood was standing outside. So they probably talked to the whole neighborhood. Literally the whole neighborhood was outside. So yeah, you guys, I just got done um, shooting a reel. I decided to push through regardless of my anxiety or whatever. And um, I did a reel and um, we did some cute photos. And then tomorrow we're going to go downtown and do pictures most likely. It's just going to be a little bit hard because the one photo I want to do, um, <laughs> my hair needs to be down for it because of the way I want to wear this beanie, it's going to be so cute. But I'm feeling this updo for like a lot of the other pictures. So I'm just not sure um, how I want to go about that. But yeah, you guys, so finished vacuuming. <laughs> so yeah, my day is pretty much just chill from now on. Now I'm just going to edit and that'll be that. You guys will probably see this either the end of this week or tomorrow. Not sure. We'll see. I'm not sure I want to do it. I think I'm going to break it up to a vlog and then a weekly vlog. Not sure yet. But yeah, um, just pushing out the content. It's so cozy in here. I got the fireplace going. Don't mind the lint roller. I was like having a lint roll on my pants and everything. But yeah, it's a cozy vibe in here right now for sure. Um, that is the one thing I do love about this house is the fact that it came with this fireplace. But other than that, when do I really? I mean, I don't, if I turn it on, it's for show. Like, so I pretty much turn the fireplace on for a show. Um, I don't like have to put it on heat. I mean, right now I could, to be honest, because it's freaking freezing outside, but I just turned my heat on in my house. So yeah, you guys, that's the vibes. Super like cozy and cleaning here and all that. Um, I ran out of paper towels, so that's no fun. I need to get some paper towels probably tomorrow. I was, well, no, I'll probably just go today and get it out the way. Because tomorrow, like I said, I want to go downtown and shoot. I don't know. I don't want to go to the store. I've been sick. I don't really want to be at a store. I don't know. And I definitely don't feel like cooking tonight. So 
But I'm not even hungry. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. So, me and the hubby, we tried the, um, what's it called? That seafood uh, dish. So, for some of you who don't know, it's like where you do the salmon. I said seafood. Well, yeah. But anyway, so salmon, um, jasmine rice, you know, your yum yum or your whatever shit you do. So, I saw some on your, um, like, seaweed wraps or whatever. If you know, you know. If the girl's from TikTok, you know. So, I tried that. I actually really like it. I think it's good. And no way, there's no way I could have ever finished that. I was so freaking full. Like, and me and him split it. And I was so full. I was like, I can't even finish this. Like, I felt so full afterwards. I was like, I think I had too many. And I only had like six. And it was just so filling to me. Like, I don't know. I know some of y'all can finish a bowl of that shit. But I was full. So I would say in the future... I don't know, like, I, I don't know if I'll make it again just because I was really full off of it. It was really good, though, but it was something new. So we tried a new recipe this week or whatever. Um, so that was fun. So, yeah, you guys, um, I did go ahead and download Notion. So I'm going to introduce you guys to that very soon. Um, probably not right now because it's a whole thing, but it's fire. So stay tuned um, It's pretty much just showing you guys how to plan it out. Remember I told you I was gonna get a planner from Etsy I actually I actually went with notion instead. So I can't wait to show you guys, but yeah, so I will see you guys later